This is Joe, the host of He Said, She Said, and I want you to take a moment to think about one thing. In our lives, we go over so many, or we're in, involved in so many t different types of relationships. We have romantic relationships, we have family relationships, we have work relationships, we have um, relationships even with ourselves. We have friendships, we have all kinds of ships. But where's your ship headed? How are you directing the ship in your life? How are you leading your own life? What steps are you taking to make sure you're on the right course? As a matter of fact, how do you know right now you're heading in the right direction? It comes down to one thing, one thing only, identity. How do, who do I serve? What do I serve? Because whether we serve God or not, we, we serve something in our lives. We serve our job. We serve our habits. We serve our addictions. We serve the people around us. But who are we as far as our identity? Who am I? Who are you? If someone asks you, who are you? How do you respond? Who's the captain of your ship? I think it comes down to those very simple questions for us to be able to determine the course that we should go in our lives. What good is all the knowledge that we're putting on our head? We're reading a whole bunch of books. We're, we're being so proactive in, in, in obtaining all this information. But what good is it if I don't use it? What good is it if I don't help you and I know the answer to the problem that you're going through in your life? If I know this, if I have the solution or if I am the solution, the very things that God placed in me can help you. And I don't reach my hand out to help you. But then it goes back to, did I make it safe? Did I make you feel safe? Do I promote an environment by the, the, the type of environment that I bring? Is it inviting or is it frightening? Is it making you feel comfortable? Does it make you feel safe or does it make you feel scared? See, we all have ships in our lives. Each one of us has a ship and it's all heading to a specific destination. But the question becomes, what are you using as a map? What are you using to steer the ship? How are you steering the ship? All these questions can be answered based upon the manufacturer of your ship. And that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It comes back to him in all things. It comes back to him. Have we made the commitment to him? Do we know who we are in him? How do we know who we are in him? Someone may ask. By knowing what his word says about us. If we've accepted the Bible as truth, then we know that the truth shall set you free. I'm tired of being in bondage. I was tired of being bound by my past, by what I was. I've died to that old person, that person that people bring up from time to time. That's not who I am. That's not who you are. So you don't have to be bound either. Those chains, they're broken. Not because that of you or anything that someone has done. It's because it's been broken by you recognizing your identity. Your identity was the key to unlatch, to, to, to unchain you. But do you know you're free? So where's your ship headed? How are you getting there? What direction are you using? Who's on your crew that's going to help direct you to where you need to go? It's time to figure that out. So that way when the ship sails, we know that we're heading to our destination and not towards disaster. <laughs>